Today I'm going to try out a new resin that was sent to me from this fairly new company. I'm probably going to pronounce the name wrong. Rezion? Something like that. Anyway, they sent me this water washable W90B blue resin to try. So I'm going to shake it up, put it in. It looks really clear, transparent. So I'm going to print some merfolk and other things that would look good in blue. They did provide me with some print settings that I used. They have these available also on their website, and I believe they also have some profiles for Chitubox that you can just download and use, and then you can just tweak them to your liking. But the main things you need to note are how many bottom layers, the normal exposure time, and the bottom exposure time. These are the settings for my Anycubic Photon Mono SE, which only requires 8 tenths of a second to cure, which is pretty awesome. They also have the light delay turned up to 6 seconds, which is usually only about half a second, and the lift speed is slowed down to 180 as opposed to 240. I don't usually change the light off delay or the lifting or retracting speed, but on this I went ahead and tried the settings that they gave me, and after a while of printing I noticed that it was taking a lot longer than 8 tenths of a second to cure a layer. So I don't know if it was the light delay or what that was messing it up, but it was definitely going about 5 seconds instead of about a second. So the first one I did was over cured. The print doesn't look bad, but in the spaces between the trident, they got filled in with resin and just places like that that had a little bit more than should have been. So I found that I needed to lower those light off delays or the time off between back to the normal settings, which for me was half a second. So I printed again at those settings, and it worked as intended. So if you try a new resin and it doesn't work quite right, you might have to do some tweaking and make sure that you get your print settings optimal for your machine. Once it's done printing, it looks really good with its blue and transparentness. It's pretty, that's for sure. So I get it off the build plate, and then I like to wipe off the excess resin with a shop towel. I just lightly dab it and just soak off that excess. And then where this is water washable, I have a little container full of water that I put the miniature in and just slosh it around for about a minute. That's about all the longer it takes to get it clean. So while I'm doing that, I would like to take this time to thank you superheroes patrons who support me and this channel. Thank you for your awesomeness. If you too think you should be as awesome as these people listed, you can go ahead and go to patreon.com forward slash geek happens and sign up for a tier. You could also maybe buy something from my store at 3dmtabletop.com. That is also very helpful. And I appreciate all that you guys do. Also, thank you, Rezion, and I'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong probably, but thank you for providing me with this resin to try. Once I have it cleaned, I then take it out and pat it dry with my shop towel. You could also use canned air or something like that if you don't want any lint or fibers from your cloth on there. And then I remove the supports. It's usually easy enough wiggling them back and forth when they're the extra light supports. This is pre-supported, so it was easy to remove the supports. I also use the little cutters that come with your 3D printer to just cut them off if necessary in certain places. And I do that for all of them and then give them a quick look over before putting them in my curing box. And I did try later printing another set and then even though you don't have to and maybe even shouldn't, I cleaned them with alcohol in an ultrasonic cleaner and the ones that I cleaned with water looked just as good. So I put them in the curing station for about an hour, even though I normally do 20 minutes, I did it longer, and there was no yellowing, so they look great. So let's see how they look close up. This one shows the ones I cleaned with alcohol that were on the right. Mm -hmm. 
I also printed some ghosts that would look good in blue, and yes, they do. Good detail, good transparency. It looks great. I also tried doing a gelatinous cube. The thing is, I probably should have done it differently. I printed it hollow instead of printing solid, so the space in between is probably making it a lot more difficult to see through, like when you engulf a little miniature with it. But overall, still pretty good. I also printed a test tower and compared it to another resin that I had done before, and it still looks pretty good. Overall, I'd say it's a good resin, I just wish the price point was a little bit lower. It is about twice as much as in any cubic resin, but still prints well. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, go ahead and click that thumbs up, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.